It was late one evening at the Lalmati camp. The men and their elephants prepared to retire. The elephants were very restless. Suddenly, the stillness of the night was shattered. The wild elephants had entered the camp in search of their companions. As one of the elephants explored a Mahut's tent, a frustrated young calf tried to set free its little captured friend. Some of the men tried to noose the elephants as they wandered about. The calf struggles on in vain. And the tent is brought down in silent rage. Smelling danger, a cautious female moves away from the noose. In the melee that followed, the youngest calf, impossible to catch inside the forest, was noosed. The mother stayed by her side to protect her. And with the help of the kunkis, she was captured as well. Not anticipating such action at night, since chemical capture is a daylight operation, the film crew used the bulb of a halogen headlamp to record the events. In fact, the bulb was the only source of light for the capturing team as well. Three other calves were also noosed in such night capture operations. People from miles around moved in to watch the operation. They had to see to believe that these animals had actually been captured. Initially, the captives were bewildered and frustrated, desperately straining at the ropes that bound them. They could not comprehend their captivity. Driven out of their original home range, these free-roaming creatures of the deep forest found themselves homeless and desperately hungry. Confronted by man in their only bid for survival, the elephants were forced to kill for their food. For this, they paid with their freedom. However, within 24 hours of their capture, provided with their basic needs, the elephants calmed down. The presence of the Kunki elephants and a little interaction with them seemed to make the elephants relax further. Secure, the calf slept for hours and stood by protectively, as later her mother did the same. The captured elephants are ready to be transferred to Bargidi, the final training camp. The 20-kilometer march to the training camp begins. After five years of a turbulent existence in these areas, the herd was being led away. The villagers found it hard to believe. Relieved to be rid of the constant threat to their lives, only a few sympathized with the captive herd. Ironically, capture was the only way of saving these elephants, to protect them from being injured or shot down by local people. Alternatively, these elephants underwent six to eight weeks of preliminary training at the Bargidi camp. The 
bond between man and animal was slowly established. Six years after the capture, this herd is scattered all over Madhya Pradesh, relocated in various sanctuaries across the state. Today, approximately 20,000 elephants exist in the wild in India, and these two are gravely threatened as their habitat shrinks. It is a disgrace to humankind in stewardship of the earth that the largest, oldest, most powerful animal on land should be endangered so. We have to stop and ask ourselves now, whose earth is it anyway?